The now old air traffic control tower built in 1988 is 30 metres tall. The new tower at 87 metres is already an imposing structure on Dublin's landscape. This operation is a scale-up, not just in terms of height, but there will now be 12 air traffic controllers at any one time as opposed to five, all managing the safe takeoff and landing of planes. We're back up above 700 movements a day um, the last couple of weeks, but each position would have control of um, a number of airplanes. Um, you'd never be overloaded. We have all kinds of procedures and systems in place to make sure that a controller only has the amount of aircraft that they can safely manage at any one time. The Irish Aviation Authority says the 50 million euro build provides state-of-the-art technology to manage the growth in air traffic. The control cab at the top of the air traffic control tower gives the air traffic controllers a full 360 degree view of what's happening at Dublin Airport and it will facilitate the operation of the new northern runway which will be open by the end of August. Opening the new tower, Minister Hildegard Nocton said although this means an increase in air traffic, there are few environmental concerns. The IAA here, the Air Traffic Control Centre here, Ireland, is ranked one of the top uh, countries in relation to the lowest emissions in our airspace. There's good news for job seekers. The IAA is currently recruiting student air traffic controllers. If you think of the responsibility that, um, that these people have, and uh, you were in the tower and you saw how calm and collected they are, and uh, we train them uh, in order to manage obviously themselves, to manage the stress and to deal with the pace of operations that are ongoing. All the potential recruits need is a leaving cert. Maggie Doyle, RTE News, Dublin Airport.